everybody thank you for joining my channel tonight we're going to make tacos it's taco tuesday and we're going to make taco el pastor or taco el pastor tacos for tonight so let's get into it guys so we've got a lot of ingredients and we're going to just go right into it so we're going to make the marinade for the chicken el pastor tacos first and then we're going to make some guacamole and then we will uh, make some corn. So in a blender, I have here some, some warm water and some guajillo chilies. These are the dried guajillo chilies. So I have about three of those in the blender that's been torn up with the seeds with about a half a cup of water. To it, I'm going to add some sliced garlic and I'm also going to add some chopped onions. I'm also going to add about two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add some pineapple chunks. This is fresh pineapple. If you guys don't have fresh pineapple, you could also use canned pineapple. So you can just break it up a little bit. About a half a cup is good. And then I have some cook a few spices here that I'm gonna add. I have some cumin. And you want about a teaspoon of this. I have here also some all-purpose seasoning. About a teaspoon of that. Also have some oregano and you want to add about a teaspoon of that as well. And then I have marjoram and about a teaspoon is that of that as well. Okay guys, so now that I've got everything in the blender, I'm going to put the top on and then blend up all the ingredients. Be right back. Go. Hey guys, so I have blended up the marinade that we did for the chicken. It's got the guajillo peppers, it's got the pineapple, it's got the oregano, it's got all the spices, a little as acidic vinegar, and I'm going to just pour it over the chicken. Tonight we're using boneless chicken thighs, and you wanna just chop up your chicken and add it to a disposable bag where you can pour your marinade in. You wanna cut it up in sizes about that big. So you wanna just chop it up and then add it to the bag. So in the bag, I have about four chicken thighs that I've already cut up. So you wanna just add your marinade in the bag. It should be a little bit red. Looks like that. So you wanna seal up your marinade and ideally you want the chicken to marinate in this bag for about 30 minutes or if you have more time you can even do it about two hours I wouldn't do it longer than that so you want to just let it marinate and hang out and that's going to give the chicken a lot of flavor so for now, we're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna just move along. So we'll just set this aside until we're ready for it. And 
now we're going to make some guacamole. What's guacamole and what's Taco Tuesday without guacamole, right? So we're going to make guacamole now. So in a bowl, I have the ingredients for guacamole. I'm going to wash my knife, hold the line. Okay guys, I got my avocados. I'm using the Haas avocados today. So with any avocado you want to just give it a cut and twist it as you go around. And once you make your cut, just twist the top off. This avocado is pretty ripe. So you can, as you can see, it's pretty soft. We're going to just spoon out the flesh into a bowl so that we can make our guacamole. And you want to get all of that. Don't leave any. Okay, and so we have two here. So let's remove the pith, the seed. And again, we're going to just remove the flesh. Just get some of the flesh off of the seed. Sometimes a little bit sticks to it. So I just like to scrape it off. This is a very ripe avocado, so I just scraped some of it off. Okay, and then we'll do the next one. It's a little messy, but it's worth it once you've made it. And be careful, guys. You don't want to cut yourself, so take your time when you're doing this part. So we'll twist it again, and then we'll remove the seed. And then we'll take out the flesh again, just like that. What are you guys cooking on your Taco Tuesday? Are you guys doing tacos tonight? Are you doing Are you doing enchiladas? Oh, that would be really good. Enchiladas with some cheese. Yum. So, yeah. I mean, it's Taco Tuesday. You could do any of those things that... I just uh, mentioned. Okay, guys, so we've got all of our avocados here, and we've gotten all the flesh out, and we've removed the seeds. And now we're going to just give it a little chop. You want to just chop it a little bit. And this is going to depend on what you like. Do you like chunky guacamole, or do you like smooth? It really is a matter of preference. I don't like my guacamole really smooth. I do like it a little chunky. So I'm going to leave this a little chunky. If you like your guacamole really smooth, then you could just use a fork and get it really, really smooth. And you would just try to smash it down until you get... A really smooth texture so that's about how I like mine's on a chunky side a little bit so we have our guacamole or our avocados that we've mashed up and to it we're going to add some of our other ingredients that go into the avocados to make it guacamole so here I have pico de gallo 
and you can find this in a supermarket they make it really easy for you it's chopped tomatoes it's cilantro onions a little bit of uh, lime juice and it makes it really easy to whip up a batch of guacamole so I'm going to add about half of this about half and then give it a stir mmm guys this smells so good in here oh my god delicious and the thing about it everything is fresh it just takes no time you just have to take a few minutes to mix it up and you've got a delicious guacamole in minutes so we're going to add some salt and pepper this is nicely mixed and we'll add a little salt and pepper and some pepper here just a little you don't want too much and we'll add just a bit of salt as well I'd say about a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper do it according to your taste okay and then the last thing we're going to add guys is some fresh cilantro or cilantro okay and we'll just give that a chop and add it to our bowl I'm gonna say about a tablespoon of fresh cilantro there's nothing like it you need fresh cilantro for your guacamole it's absolutely a must and just mix it in guys and then you want to set this aside until we're ready to have it with our tacos chicken tacos el pastor okay guys so i'm going to set this aside until we're ready for it hold the line guys i'm going to wash up okay guys so the next thing we're going to make is we're going to make some grilled corn so we got some fresh corn on the cob here sweet corn and we're going to roast our corn this is a great weeknight meal and roasting it is going to save you time and it's going to make cooking a lot easier so we have some butter here that's unsalted and we're adding it directly to our aluminum foil this is a simple easy way to make corn and it takes no time to cook at all so we're going to just smear it in a little bit onto the aluminum foil just a bit and then we're going to wrap the corn in the foil okay so I would say about a teaspoon each so we're going to have our corn put it in the middle and fold up the sides first once the sides are folded up then you want to roll it over tuck in the ends and 
Then we're going to do the same thing with this one here. We have our corn. Tuck in the ends first. Pull it over. And then we're going to leave it like this for a second. The last thing we're going to add is a pinch of sugar. Hold the line. I'll be right there. Okay, guys, so we have our sugar, and we're going to add just a pinch, and we're going to put it right on the corn, right on top. We want to do the other one as well, just a pinch of sugar. And I would say about a half a teaspoon or even a quarter of a teaspoon for each corn in the cob that you have. So you've got your ends already turned in and now you want to cover your corn, the top of it, and then roll it over to close it. Make sure that you have the corn completely closed it should look like that closed all the way around okay so we're gonna do the next one same thing make sure you do the ends first fold over to the top and then close the corn make sure it's closed all the way just like that so because it's me and hubby tonight, we're doing just two ears of corn. So if you have four in your family, then do a, each, uh, do one corn on the cob for each family member. And so that's going to go in the oven. And we're going to roast that for about 15 minutes on 375. Be right back, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, guys. So we've got the chicken that's been marinated for about 30 minutes. And we're going to put it on skewers and we're going to grill it. So again, we're making chicken El Pastor tacos tonight. And we're using boneless chicken thighs. So we're going to grill it. So over here, I've got some wooden skewers that I've been soaking in water. And we're going to just put the chicken on the skewers with the pineapple. And then we're going to grill it. So we'll just put the chicken on the skewers alternate it with pineapple and then another piece of chicken while we're doing this I have the grill getting hot And you could even get the kids to help you with this part so that it will go faster. Oop, I lost a piece of pineapple. So that's how you want it to look once you've got it all done. You want a few pieces of chicken and a couple pieces of the pineapple as well. And so we're going to just grill it. So we'll just put it on the grill and let it cook.
And you may have to work with it a little bit so it'll sit on the skewers the way that you like it. And then we'll put another piece of meat on top of here. For those who don't eat meat, you could even just do potatoes for this part with the pineapples or you could also use cauliflower for this part if you didn't eat meat Okay guys, so we are going to just thread the chicken with the pineapples and get them on the grill and we'll be back in a little bit and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done cooking. Hi everybody so dinner is pretty much done we have done some chicken El Pastor tacos tonight for taco Tuesday and we are finished we are in the home stretch we are ready to eat so let me show you what it looks like guys so we have got the chicken El Pastor tacos and we've done guacamole and corn in a cob take a look at this they look amazing 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 so me and my family we're ready to eat we're going to just put the last final touches on it i hope you guys like it because i'm very excited about this recipe guys i've worked hard on it and i hope you really enjoy it so if you like this recipe and you like my videos give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe in the kitchen with Alethea. Thank you for spending time with me tonight. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Taco Tuesday.